factors affecting enzyme action. So most pupils, before we even reach this point, someone will ask a question of, but what happens if you increase substrate concentration? Does that mean that the more substrates you have, the more products um, that will be created, will be synthesised as such? Um, and I'm hoping this diagram kind of um, explains this in a wee bit greater detail, okay? So way down here in the corner, teensy wee graph here, is the usual one that you would see in your in uh, your teacher's slides, okay? And what this is showing is as we increase substrate concentration, okay, what is therefore happening at the um, reaction at the um, active site area in relation to substrate uh, and enzyme, okay? So what we're seeing here, so as we increase substrate concentration, okay, there is obviously active sites free, okay, and if there's active sites free, the substrates are going to bind and we're going to end up getting a product, okay. But what happens is we get to a point where there is a max rate of reaction, okay, because we basically have so much more substrate than active sites available. OK, because you need to balance up the same number of substrate to um, enzyme as such. So you could keep on increasing and keep on increasing the substrate concentration, but it will eventually get to the point where all the active sites are full. And if all the active sites are full, then you're not going to get any more products as such. OK, so we can see here as well. OK, so here is our kind of, again, very kind of a basic and crude diagram. Um, so enzyme, so this is the concentration of enzymes, okay? And as we can see, so we're going along the way horizontally, okay? So as we can see, we've got a low concentration of substrate, okay? So we've got more enzyme, more active sites than we have substrate. So what's happening here is, here is our enzyme substrate complex. So here is our substrate binding onto our enzyme, but we've got unused active sites, so obviously the product that we produce is there's going to be a low concentration of it because again we need to have this balance of uh, numbers of substrate compared to um, enzyme. So again enzyme concentration if we put a medium concentration of substrate together okay then we still get products but we've still got unused active sites all right but if we've got the same number of enzymes, so the same concentration of en enzymes to we have substrate, then we are using all of our active sites up, which means we're getting a high level of products produced. Okay. However, the flip side of that is what we're starting to see here when the reaction is, is um, tailing off. Concentration of enzyme, a very high concentration of substrate, so more substrate than we have enzyme, we still get a high level of product, but we've now got unused substrate. So we've got product, sorry, not product, we've got a substrate that we're not going to, we're not going to be able to use or catalyze as such. OK, so the whole point is to create this balance. But eventually, if you don't, you're going to end up um, having more substrate than you do um, product as such.